I'd like to share stories that you guys have probably never heard about Brian, especially from me. Yeah, Brian's been on my mind a lot, as I'm sure he's been on the minds of many. I haven't watched Brian's goodbye video yet. I'm going to watch it right now. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. It's been over 2,000 times I've said that or something to the similar. And you guys have followed along and I appreciate you guys so much. It's been an amazing journey and one that has changed my life. My pain has stopped. I know some of your pain's probably still there. I'll be okay. So I'm gonna be up with God and in heaven and Zeusy and... But don't worry about me. I've got Jesus in my heart and when I'm gone, I'm gonna spend eternity in heaven. I'm gonna be able to look down on the legacy and I'm gonna be able to look down on my family and everyone who I love. I'm the lucky one. But I'll still be around, I promise you, okay? Be good, I love you. tough to watch um but also cool jay good job on that man um it's cool to see all the all the clips and the, the, the memories the, the the happy times you know that was really cool um hearing hearing brian's grandkids in the background there that that was tough i really just want this video to be a compilation of the clips that i have of brian being awesome literally and figuratively you know <laughs> I know. Sometimes it's like I'll do that where I'll just like wrap two. Oh. Well, you can get a picture if you oh, want. Okay. Well, Here, I'll know. take a picture with you. Both of you. How does that sound? Oh, that'll awesome. work. Yeah. yeah. So, face me. Yeah. It should be gone. Tried to yank my finger off. Now you're, oh, oh, now you're just making me all happy. Oh, why are you doing it? <laughs> Drive by, and if it's Let's him, we can uh, stop if you guys want to. If it's not, we'll just keep going. Go, go, go. Gun it, Miguel. You, get the hell out of here, quick. Oh, you hit him. Yeah. Bye! I really just want this video to talk about the memories of him that I have. Though he's still here as I'm recording this video, so hopefully he gets a chance to check it out and it does him does him proud. Because, you know, as with many others in the reptile industry and hobby, creator space, uh, Brian's one of the biggest influences. Brian is my biggest influence in getting into this, for sure. When I first moved back from Hawaii and decided I was going to get back into snakes, I soon found Snake Bites TV. Thoroughly entertained. I was like, wow, this guy is like living his snake dreams like big. And I was just at the Pomona Reptile Super Show, which last weekend, which thank you guys, everybody that came up and shared hugs and laughs and just a little time and, and cried with me or, or, you know, all those, all those moments really, really cool. And Brian, I hope you're watching this right now. And I still believe that it's possible for God to perform a miracle and you will make it out of hospice, you know, beating all odds. It's, that's still a possibility as of the time I'm recording this. And if that's not the case, then dude, just your profession of faith in, in Jesus and where you know you're going. How, how could I not be happy for that? Look at that. Brian was one of the first people to get that print from me. So you have to pick one. Me, I'm going to make you pick one. This is what, this is, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go favorite animal, favorite animal, favorite animal, favorite animal, favorite animal until you get sick of it because I won't be able to pick one. <laughs> what, I, what I really want to know is, what I really want to know is, do you know what time it is? Oh man, not I was so bad at this. All right, this Brian and Brian time. Okay, that was, was the riddle. Say, uh, We're gonna do a uh, little Brian and Brian riddle down later on. Okay, later on. All right. All right We're not doing anything. Okay, right, good. See Let's see, see you guys. Bye. Bye. But nobody fails a knock knock uh -huh. joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. Mm. Yeah, I got. I thought we were gonna do the knock knock banana. Who's there? <laughs> it, it was shortly after I got saved that I went to see Brian and. 
we had that conversation. It was just he and I at dinner, which was great. Just the two of us, you know, it was very often when we were hanging out that there were lots of other people around and which was also great. It was, it was a blast having everybody around and it was so much fun all the time. There's so many laughs and jokes and it was always a good time. It was always an amazing time, always full of energy as anything that involves Brian is full of. But it was just the two of us this time, which I don't think has ever happened other than the Indonesia trip. Just the, just the two of us for an extended period of time and we got to talking about that, you know, as, as I was just newly becoming a Christian, I was, it was, uh, something I couldn't help but talk with everybody about, as you guys know. And, uh, and he told me about his story of, of his faith and, and how it was shattered by a buddy of his getting cancer. And, and then it was shortly after that, when I came home that, that he was diagnosed and it was just, it was crazy, just crazy to kind of just the whole storyline of that. But, um, it's just wild. It's wild the way God works. Um, tough to understand sometimes, for sure. Let's go back to Pomona. This Pomona Reptile Super Show was was tough because uh, I met Brian there for the first time nine years ago. It was my very first reptile show coming back from Hawaii, and Brian happened to be there. And we got to hang out. And Well, <laughs> I've told this story so many times, I, I don't want to like be a broken record about the stories of Brian, I'd like to share, I'd like to share stories that you guys have probably never heard about Brian, especially from me. But I, I, I walked up, I saw him there and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the, that's the snake bites guy. That's the guy I've been watching on YouTube for the last like nine months or whatever. There's a line of people, you know, waiting to take pictures with him and talk with him. And so I was like, okay, obviously I'm gonna go stand in that line as much of a dork as I feel like. And stood in there and, and took a picture with him. I was like, cool, man. I had him my snake, snake bites TV shirt. And then I'm wearing the red line shirt now because I know Brian is a, is a silent part of red line. And uh, I walked away after taking the picture with him and did like 17 laps around his booth and area. Just like, dude, what? Are you, such a, are you that much of a nerd? Are you that much of a dork? Like, can you just go and talk to him, have a regular conversation and not like fanboy out like you've never done before, even with Kirk Hammett. And uh, eventually I did work up the nerve and walked back up. And I was like, I felt so, it felt like I was going against every shred of my <laughs> being or shred of my, my physical being it was like, just like so nervous. So like, oh man, what a, what a, dude. I walked up and I was like, Hey man, uh, I was wondering maybe we could just talk a little bit. I've been waiting in line all day to see this guy, and finally my moment, and, and he's just gonna. Okay, I'm sorry off. that uh, it's, uh, that was five seconds. We'll oh see you later. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, cool, man, hang out and talking." Like, well, we stood there and talked for hours about everything, like other than snakes, you know, cameras and filming and uh, music and just life. And you know, I remember while we were standing there, obviously lots of other people come and talking too. And there was a a group at one point where they were kind of trying to talk about the different dramas in the industry and what was happening with this person, what was happening with that person, and kind of, and I and Brian was just kind of like, not as heavy as me, you know. It's just you know, we just got to, it's got to be about the animals, man. It's got to be about the animals. You just got to keep it about the animals, and wouldn't feed into the drama, <laughs> which was cool to see. You know, I could tell he was a little uncomfortable about it, willing to listen, but also not wanting to engage and like help build up any of the drama that was happening and just kind of turn the focus back to like we got to focus on the animals and not not that drama which was cool uh first time i met him and then it's been weird to see all these like r.i.p brian posts knowing that he's not gone <laughs> it's, it's been weird and i i understand you know where people have some there's been confusion you know that that goodbye video i could definitely see where somebody not paying close attention could be like oh he He's not here anymore. I've seen like fake obituaries and even even friends that I consider to be pretty intelligent got fooled by some fake obituaries and and which is crazy. Which but also kind of makes sense because of how big of a presence Brian has publicly. Even my uncle, who has no affiliation with the reptile world whatsoever, like called me up crying because he knew that Brian was somebody who anyway, <laughs> I was gonna get lost in stories. I thought about writing down notes and I was like, nah, I'm just gonna let stuff spill about Brian. So go, go ahead, ahead and check, check out, out the link in the, the description, description for his, his vlog. vlog. <laughs> Brian doesn't really drink. He's been drinking whiskey with me the no, no, past no, couple no, no, Come on now. We drink. We're supposed to drink whiskey every night. And then he started dropping the ball. I dropped the ball. It's you. you you're in charge of the whiskey game. I told you I'll buy the whiskey. You no, got to no, pour it. No, no. You said I'm the whiskey expert. I'm going to teach you how to drink whiskey. I taught him how to drink. You should we get the first night? Well, we did teach, but then I got to be reminded every night. Okay. All right. We'll be sure to remind him tonight. We'll make up for the lost nights. But in the meantime. <laughs> Non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic. 
Amen. Brother? We actually exchanged numbers, which was cool because I remember watching more snake bites and seeing Brian Gundy, who puts his phone number out on the internet regularly, and I called him Brian Gundy and became friends with him too, which is kind of like Triple B has a, a deep meaning in three different Brian, you know, Brian and Brian and, and myself. But we exchanged numbers, and I, I would reach out to him sparingly because I know he's busy and I didn't want to be a bother. Hey, man, at some point maybe we could do like video stuff together. I know I only have like 200, I didn't say this, but I only have like probably, you know, a few hundred subscribers at the time, nothing really to offer his channel. And, and he was like, yeah, yeah, man, you know what? Let, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that sometime. I was like, wow, I can't believe he even like said yes. Turned out that it wasn't, he wasn't just talking. And the next time I saw him was at Prehistoric Pets. And it was going to be my first time going to the Tinley Park show. He found out that I was going to Tinley and he was actually flying out the next day. And as a lot of you guys that know me closely know, I don't plan too far ahead, even not far enough ahead where I don't know where I'm staying the night, often when I'm out of town away from my house. <laughs> and uh, Brian found out that I, I didn't know where I was staying necessarily the night. And he just offered, he's like, hey, you want to come stay in my hotel room? I'm going to the airport in the morning too. I was like, dude, yeah, thanks. At this point, he still barely knew me, like hardly knew me. He just, we were acquaintances basically at this point. And yet the man invited me to stay in his hotel room, which I'm sure if you've heard lots of stories from other people, it's kind of how Brian is. He's just uh, just one of those dudes, give you the shirt off his back um, and to share his hotel room, with, hotel room with you because you happen to, you know, be there. <laughs> it was a little while after that that I got, I ended up getting a pair of Het Sunsets off him. And that went south. You know, I said I was going to share stories I haven't shared about with Brian, and, and I'm sharing a bunch of stories that I have. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out the stuff that I've already shared about Brian publicly on interviews or on on my channel. I'm just gonna stick with the stuff that I didn't share, and then just make the rest of it clips of of Brian being awesome. I feel bad for Brian, man. He's always somehow he's always sitting on this side of me, staring at my poison oak riddled arm while he's trying to eat. Hey, don't get the flakes in my wa waffles, sorry. <laughs> we might be able to drive to Indonesia if not for this parking spot. Yeah, I suppose we'll take that new highway that they built across the ocean. Just in case, it'll take us a little longer, but we'll get there eventually. I love bridges. Brain is mush right now. It's, it's how's your mush. Mind? How's your brain? It's mush ish. Mush ish. Yeah. Mush ish. It's, it's, it's more mush. Well, it doesn't taste bad. The texture is kind of goofy. It's like uh, chewing silicone a little bit or something. But uh, the taste is actually. It's, it's interesting. It's like it's fishy a little bit, but it's also uh, it's it's really good. I mean, the taste is actually really good. It's funny. Uh, I thought that I would be an emotional mess, especially after how I was this weekend at Pomona, doing this video, and yet to hear Brian and his faith and how strong it is, despite the sadness, obviously the surrounding, you know, the the the, the potential for him to be missing so much and his family to be missing him so much not just the potential but his family will be missing him here on earth so much if he goes soon or i mean we all go right we all go so but just to hear his faith like i'm so i'm so filled with joy to hear his faith <laughs> i was not expecting this i was not expecting this at all i was expecting to be a mess and yet i'm so happy for him it's crazy such a different perspective. I'm not a mess, but this video is a mess. <sighs> Forrest, I met Forrest because of Brian. I met Forrest getting onto the plane to go on that Indonesia trip that we went on, which I'm so grateful for that trip because it was such a great time to get to know Brian on a very not the guy in front of the camera guy, Brian. Like, you know, I remember the first time he dropped an F bomb in front of me, I was like, whoa, this guy is. <laughs> This guy is different off camera, you know, and not not in a bad way, not in a bad way, like in an awesome, really fun and carefree way. Because uh, the guy's such a hard worker and is so, you know, driven, so driven, and yet he's just down to have some fun, man, and just have a good time and just make that the priority while experiencing animals in an incredible way. And that's what that whole Indonesia trip. And he still he would say it for years afterwards that. That trip, especially sp particularly the trip that just the two of us went and broke off from the rest of the group and went to that, went to Laban Baju and and went and found those retics in the cave with that that tribe. He would always say that's like the, one of the greatest adventures he's ever had in his life. I'm so blessed to have been able to go with him on that man. I'm so grateful for Jay as well because he's such a supportive force of Brian and and such a strong solid 
safe space for Brian and companion. And there was a time that Brian said he was thinking about me for that position, but he thought I was maybe too busy with my family, which he was right. I could never have done what Jay does, but I was just, I was just honored that he said, I, I was wondering if you could do this job. And that was cool because he's the guy that got me into it. And I'm so glad that Jay did because I, I wouldn't have been as good as Jay. I am too busy. I have too much stuff going on outside of filming. It never would have been nearly as good as what Jay has done. So Jay, I love you, bro. You've done such a great job and you're going to continue to do such a great job, man. All the Barczyk family, you guys are so welcoming. I mean, I think the first time I came to visit, we just came right to the house and stayed at the house. We got to, and just like, yeah, come sleep at the house. You know, you don't need to go to a hotel or anything. Just come sleep over and just, I was like, dude, this guy is so giving. I mean, he gave me his drone. Anyway, I'm trying not to say stories I've already told. Gave me, he gave me his, I crashed my drone to the bridge in Indonesia. He's, he's like, oh man, that sucks. Here, fly mine. I was like, did you see what I did to mine? <laughs> he's like, doesn't matter. He's just, just go ahead and fly mine. I don't want to blab too much anymore. I just want to say how excited I am for Brian. And which I'm sure to a lot of you, that sounds totally strange and weird. But I mean, this, this is something that's been shaking my faith a bit too, is, is his battle that he's been going through. And yet I'm so encouraged by what he said in that video. So encouraged. <laughs> I was not expecting to be like this. <laughs> oh, Brian, you're the man, dude. <laughs> Thank you for everything, bro. I'll see you soon. Hopefully not too soon, but I'll see you soon. <laughs> Relatively speaking. I love you, man. All you guys out there watching, I, lo I love you guys too. Wow. Brian, you, you live on forever, man. You're Eternity, dude. Eternity. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? 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 Knock.